Hey, welcome to round two of Playdate. Last time, our bachelorette, Playboy Playmate, Crystal McCahill, went on virtual dates with eight eligible bachelors, and I asked her to narrow the field and pick two for immediate elimination. Well, if I have to eliminate two, then I'm gonna have to say Aaron for sure. I just don't think I'm his type. I exclusively date black Christian women. And this next one's hard, but I'm gonna say Paul. Honesty. The best feature is honesty. I would say so, yeah. I love an honest guy, for sure, but I just need a little more spice. Sorry, Paul. Now the remaining six bachelors, they're gonna meet and see Crystal for the very first time. Let's jump right into round two of Playdate. Women love funny and nerdy, but does David know how to be flirty? Well, Crystal's about to find out as they see each other for the very first time. Introducing Miss May 2009, our lovely bachelorette, Crystal McCahill. Woo -hoo! Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, David? You know, not not too much. Just uh, just hanging out. Um, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you living? California. Yeah. I'm in Las Vegas. I do actually drive to LA a lot. I like the drive. I listen to a lot of different podcasts and stuff like that what on the way. Like? I really like Time Suck. Is it like crime related? <laughs> Um, he does different episodes on different subjects. It's interesting. You should start with the sex position one first. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's really yeah. funny. That does sound intriguing. So, I hear you have a talent for me. <laughs> I'm looking for a guy with some talent. Some X Factor, you know? So show me what you got. I can show you a little something I uh, picked up on my time traveling. This tribe actually took me in. They showed me their ways. They actually taught me this hand clapping routine ritual, kind of like a baiting call to kind of get like a suitor. So, um, all right, well, there goes nothing. Okay. Awesome! So let's play a game of truth or dare. At home edition. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, truth or dare? Uh, uh, truth. If you had to choose between dating someone ugly who was good in bed or dating someone who was hot but was bad in bed, which would you choose? I mean, how bad are we talking? How, you know, but I think I would go with hot but bad okay. in bed. You know what I mean? Because, like, how bad can you really be? Like the worst. Know? Like, terrible, terrible bad. Terrible bad is still, like, really good. <laughs> <laughs> when we're talking about sex. I guess it would be different for guys versus girls. You're next, right? Yes. Craziest <laughs> or freakiest thing you've ever done. It doesn't have to be, like, freaky, like, you know, like that. But Like sexual? <laughs> yeah. What do you want to know, David? <laughs> You know, I mean, <laughs> in particular. Well, you can say they're freaky, though. <laughs> like, you know, decapitating a, like a lizard's head or something. No know. way. I love I animals. I, I'm vegetarian, I why, remember? I know, I know. I don't know why that popped into my head. All right. Truth or dare? I guess I got to go with dare. You don't have to. No, I have I dare you to eat something gross out of your fridge. Eat something gross out of my fridge? <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It's just a lemon. It's not like super gross, but 
Okay, okay, I will, I'll accept it. Squeeze all, okay. the, all the juice in my mouth. As long as you don't do this every day. Oh. I'm gonna go front teeth first. And just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate sour stuff. <laughs> but it's oh, very it's cleansing, I'm sure. <laughs> Bravo. Uh, You're a brave man. Oh, okay. I was just going to tell you, you didn't have to do that dare, but you did. <laughs> oh, thanks for telling me now. <laughs> you want to do one more truth or dare? My dare would be to give a one minute lecture on safe sex. Okay, great. Yeah, I, it's the only way I do it. You got to use a condom, all right? Some some form of material that you you, you place <laughs> on, on your genitalia. I mean, you just you roll it down oh. and put it in. <laughs> and so it protects you from, you know, like from having like a baby, which would be, you know, I mean, <laughs> who wants to do that? And people say, you know, it makes it feel not as good, which they're right. <laughs> but it's a noble thing to do. So that's why you do that. That's why you should practice safe sex. I find intelligence to be super sexy. So let's test that brain of yours and see if you know any of this useless knowledge. Useless trivia. Okay. Question number one. The average person does what 13 times a day? Masturbate. Is it Oh, you weren't done? Okay. <laughs> Is it A, toots, B, gets aroused, C, laughs, or D, picks their nose? I mean, I think I would have to go with my first instinct. My, something tells me it's <laughs> picks their nose, but no, I'm going to go with B. I'm sorry, but not everyone's built like you, so it's going to be C, laughs. Ah. Uh. Good for you, though. Let's test your Playboy knowledge a little bit. <laughs> what was Hugh Hefner's jet plane name? It's A, Bunny Hopper. B, <laughs> Bugs Bunny. C, <laughs> Big Bunny. Or D, L Hefner. I want to say A, Bunny Hopper, right? Sorry. No, it's C, Big... I'm Bunny, come on. Big bunny. Oh man, I'm not even close. I mean, Both times. everybody knows that. Okay, question number three. Okay. What yeah, is the myself. national animal of Scotland? Is it A, unicorn, B, a sheep, C, the Loch Ness Monster, or D, Scottish Terrier? Well, uh, unicorns don't exist. And what was it? Loch Ness Monster? I mean, we don't know if that's a real 100% either. <laughs> so, I mean, by default, it can't be either of those, right? Mm, and it was Scotland, right? So, like, Scottish Terrier would make sense. But, like, a dog? Maybe that, I think that's a trick. What was the other one that I missed? Sheep. The, uh, sheep? I'm going with sheep, yeah. All right. Final All right. answer. Final answer, huh? Mm -hmm. Actually, nope. It is A, a unicorn. What? Who says they don't exist? Come when on. have you ever seen one? Every day in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you get this one. A little science. Right. How many planet Earths can fit in Uranus? <laughs> what kind of <laughs> is it A, 69? B, 63, C, 8, or D, 2001? I want to say 69 so bad. Who doesn't? <laughs> it, that's the, that was A, right? Like, that's clear, the, clearly the trick answer that they want you to choose. Who's B? But, <laughs> whoever made these questions. <laughs> but, 63 <laughs> is pretty close to 69. Whereas the other two answers were like all the way on the other spectrum. The one in doubt, you go with the one, you know, in the middle. So I'm going with 63. Ding, ding, ding. I like your thought process. Oh, yeah. Achieve that.
correct answer. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that right. Let me ask you one more question. What was banned in Indonesia for stimulating passion? Is it A, vibrating cell phones? B, Spanish fly? C, hula hoops? D, a lollipop? Hula hoops are lollipops. They're very erotic. Very stimulating. Very Both erotic. Them. Both of them. Yep. Mm -hmm. The answer probably lies in which one is more erotic or stimulating. I think I have to go with lollipop. Just because, I mean, if you, you know, banning hula hoops, you know, because that's exercise. Lollipop. You have to do exercise with a hula hoop. Every day. Every single day. <laughs> All right. The answer <laughs> is actually C. <laughs> Those bastards. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, you right. failed. Did I fail? Yeah. What was my score? I think one. No, <laughs> it's one and a half. But you you're awesome, and I appreciate you eating a whole lemon for me. I'm looking forward to playing more games with you. Too. That'd be cool. Bye bye. I'll see you later. David comes across as a little shy, but he gave Crystal some hard facts about sex ed. Is he a guy that can turn lemons into lemon? Another date with Crystal? Click the link on the screen or down in the description to vote, and do not forget to like and subscribe.